As president of the Barbados Association of Journalists and Media Workers, let me say how heartened I am to see the turnout for this reflaring ceremony. I also want to use the occasion to say thanks to Christoph's mom and dad for allowing us to share in their celebration of Christoph's life this morning. This morning we are here to reflect and celebrate the life of a young, talented, vibrant photographer in Christoph Griffith. A man who had a lot to give to the profession, but was taken from us in the prime of his life for doing nothing more than what was his pursuit and love. While it is not for us to pass judgment on how he did his job, for us we know that he did it with professionalism and passion. And these are things that we should forever keep alive in journalism. Colleagues in larger countries are exposed to war and other dangers. And while our country may be small, we also must come to the realization that each day we take to the streets, we place our lives on the line as media workers who are on the front line. As media workers in Barbados, we've often, in my mind, taken for granted sometimes the dangers that come with the job even in a small island, and that the risks of the profession are real. I want us to bear in mind that our job is to report, but we must do so and excel, but be ever conscious that the threats that face us daily are very real risks. We will not allow Christoph's passing to be won in vain. And we will always remember him for his right attitude and talent he possessed. It is for this reason that the Barbados Association of Journalists and Media Workers intends to keep his memory alive through a number of initiatives, including the Media Award in his name, started last year as part of the 2020 Media Award Ceremony at the Sherburne Conference Centre. Bar Jam has also begun to seek meetings with various media houses to look at having MOUs or Memorandum of Understanding and included in these is the promotion of occupational health and safety, work hazards and the overall safety of media workers, especially those on the front line. As we lay this brief this morning, I feel convicted to say that the profession needs unity and respect by those stakeholders with whom we interact every day. But this can only happen in the profession if we come together and stand with each other, yes, we all work for various competing interests, but we remain as one as media workers, and this should be seen as that. Let this occasion, celebrating one of us, be also used as an occasion to ask ourselves, how can I, how can you come together, not only during these times, but all the times? So I just want to say thank you to all those persons that who will have um, signed their wishes, those persons that, who would love to be here, but you know, sometimes they can't um, express that pain and that suffering that they're going through now. But God is good, and um, we will continue to remember Him. Just like it happened just today, we will remember him because he is a part of us.